Hi, this is Leandro from Maximal System Administration Team. Today I'm going to show you the steps to set up Maximal 7.5 Docklinks with Web Verification Server on a single server. First of all, open the remote desktop and connect to the Maximal server. In the C drive, create a folder called Docklinks in lowercase. Note that this setup is case sensitive, so you better choose a pattern. Right click in the folder, click Sharing and Security option. Click Share this folder and grant full access to the administrator. Apply the changes and click OK. Now, go to Program Files, IBM, HTTP Server, Conf. Do a backup of the HTTP.com file. Open the original HTTP.com file with a notepad. Document root tag and enter the path that the file will be served. In this case, it is C Docklinks. Do the same for the directory tag and save the file. Copy the server name reference or IP address and paste it in the web browser. If the was admin web page is displayed, log in to WebSphere Console. Go to Servers, Server Types, Web Servers. Check the web server one and click Generate Plugin. Now stop and start the web server one. If you refresh the browser, now you see the doc links folder. Web3 is now serving attachments correctly. Let's do a test and create a text file in the doc links folder. Refresh the web page and there is your file now. At this point, we have to set up Maximal, so log into Maximal and go to Sensing Properties application. Filter the properties by Docklink. Set up the default path and top level path. Go to next page and set up the path 1 property. Save the change, but live refresh will not work at this case. Sign in to WebSphere Console and restart application server. Go back to Maximo and go to any application with attachments functionality. Click Select the Action Menu, Attachments Library Folder, Manage Folders. Let's create folders to add attachments in case you do not want the file to be created at the full path. Update each document folder to be referencing as absolute path. Again, this is case sensitive, so you better choose a pattern if you use upper or lower case. The folders will automatically be created in the server. Click OK and create a new record. From the attachments button, add a new file to this record.
click the attachments button and open your file. That's all for today guys, see you in the next video, bye bye.